kind of tired right now. But when I wake up, I'm going DEFCON 3 on all passport Ooh, bros Con. and red pill podcasters. Ooh. So scared. Straight like that. On the next episode of Escape Tricks, the dustiest LMFAO looking passport bro hater in history, the real King Brujo. We'll look at his page for a second and we'll talk about why he hates passport bros so much on the next Escape Tricks. You can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. What's up, people, and welcome to the show. This is Escape Tricks with your man, Derek Bailey. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know what's going down in the Manosphere. Travel channel, health channel, everything you want to know to make yourself better right here. And we're going to laugh at people as well on this channel and make some good points. And don't forget, you can check us out at Twitter at the Escape Tricks, TikTok, Escape Tricks, and also the YouTube channel that you're watching right now. If you don't know, now you know. That is the Escape Tricks as well, right here. Now, uh, if you're if you're a passport bro, uh, like me and many other people who have been uh, traveling around for a long time, it's really a phenomenon that's happening now. Uh, it is really amazing how, for all these years, other people of other cultures have been uh, traveling around the world, seeing other people, seeing other places, learning other culture and many other beautiful women but it seems that uh the passport bros have like taken off since black homies have started to go somewhere too and don't forget all homies are passport bros doesn't matter if you're black white puerto rican or asian if you're getting out please get out and i do implore you guys to get out but with that we also have many of a detractor many of a detractor when it comes to that many detractors uh that I mean, they come up daily. Uh, people attacking guys like me and you for just going out and traveling the world and learning the world. I love to go to other places and, and meet other people. And I love beautiful, uh, friendly women in other countries as well. Let's just be honest. They're not that friendly at this point here in uh, Western civilization. So why not go other places and explore your options? Because women, always talking about exploring their options as well now that the funny thing is we got a lot of people that are dick policing passport bros especially other dudes which i do not understand and we got one in particular with a fake ass fml uh f uh lmfao looking motherfucker i don't know what his problem is the real king brujo let's just go over to his page for a second over here on tiktok and you can see Everything you need to know about this guy and what he's doing. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say this. You look at these pa papers, these pages that he has, and you look at all of these different uh, videos that this guy has. Uh, the one thing that is fully apparent to me is if, if he wasn't doing what he was doing and pandering to women, they'd be calling this motherfucker Dusty all day. This dude is super dusty looking. I, no doubt but the pandering is only going to help him so much because it's not going to help you get any more ass than you're getting little little guy than you're getting right now now the definition of dusty we can look that up on google right now and i'm just going to say they need to just supplant that exit out and throw his face right up under the word dusty because this is what this dude is right guys that are out there that are worried about what passport bros are doing uh they don't really have nothing to do their damn self most of these guys especially uh a lot of us uh afro-american brothers ain't been no damn way anyway only about 90 what is it nine percent of us nine percent of black folks have a passport and half of those are probably women going to jamaica to get their booty rolls by dexter st jocks and come back right so this is the guy, probably one of those guys. Only place he's probably been is uh, back where he came from, which is uh, uh, Puerto Rico, right? That's it. Why he would, why this guy would be worried about what passport bros do is amazing. And this is how much of a panderer he is, right? 
We're looking at the homeboy Floyd right here down in Dominican Republic with our man Austin Holloman, right? And if you look to the side, all you see is disparaging mark, uh, uh, remarks. Look at this. Do, do not insult Carlton this way and then laugh with hands. So now we've come to a place that a person that talks, speaks well, uh, uh, pretty good English, speaks well, right? He has to be disparaged by being called Carlton. And what they're doing is they're calling him white, right? And this is what happens. This is what's happening in America here. And this is what's happening in the black community. If you speak well and you're about something, you're white or you're Carlton, right? And this is what we have. And this guy is co-signing it. Like I said, this guy ain't got much of balls in the first damn place. And I wouldn't want this guy on the side of Passport Bros anyway. Shout out to Austin Holloman. Shout out to uh, to Floyd as well. If you guys have never seen, he has his Omaha Audit Channel. I've been watching the guy for a, a while. I think he's uh, very entertaining and a nice guy. But nice guys finish last in Western civilization, right? And a guy like uh, this guy, King Brujo, he's gonna finish last too. You're not, you're not hot and sexy. These girls aren't gonna give you, these women aren't gonna give you what you think you're gonna get King Brujo, right? You still a super dusty dude, right? And you got the nerve to talk about other guys and what they're doing. Stop your dick policing, you and you other uh, unscrupulous uh, plantation bros are, are killing me with this behavior. It's another guy I can't find, couldn't find a video and look like he's straight out of cell block four, right? Disparaging passport bros. Guys, if you're out there, do what you want to do. Get going. Get that passport if you haven't. Doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, or 80. Go out and see the world. Now, for you people who don't know about my channel and don't know me, I also do a lot in crypto. I'm called Black Crypto Cartel as well. Please check that as well. And like I told people over there on Black Crypto Cartel, we are taking a trip to Thailand. We're going to keep all the damn receipts and we stand over there for a long time. They like to talk about long time. Hey, we're staying over there for a long time. We're going to have fun right here on the Escape, Escape Ch channel. We're going to go shopping. We're going to party. We're going to swim on beaches. We're going to meet interesting people, coaches, and everything else right here on the Escape Trick channel. All right. So this has been your man, Derek Bailey. Don't forget, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out as well. We'll see you next time on the next Escape Tricks.